most of you probably have a game that you have played at some point in your life that has molded you and created your love of video games even further. For me, it was Forza Horizon 2. On the Xbox One, nothing came close to how unimaginably amazing this game was and it molded me into the person I am today. Forza Horizon 2 was the second game I ever got for Xbox One and it's arguably been the most memorable experience I've ever had with a video game. Its charm, its uniqueness, its graphics, they all stood up until today in 2019 and I just want to thank Turn 10 Studios for making so many memories with me and my friends because nothing comes close to how much fun I've had in a video game compared to this. Firstly, showcases. Showcases have always been an integral part of Forza Horizon, ever since the first game in America all the way to Forza Horizon 4 in Britain. These are basically the boss fights of your video game. You go on a set path but you can take whatever side of the road you want, you can make your way there however you want on the path that it gives you. These have always been such massive parts of the series and they are great fun. Unfortunately, they weren't, they're never able to do with friends, but they've always been something to admire in the games. From Forza Horizon 2, I have to say the Ferrari one was probably my favourite, but you have fighter planes, you have cargo planes, you have racing planes, you go against a train and hot air balloons galore. It has always been great fun, and I think this game did it the best. Every single one of these challenges always has something new to offer. When you go against the cargo plane, it's a rainy night sky in the middle of a town. When you go against Ferrari, you go on the coast and you go across the side of the map, trying to beat the immense fighter jets that are way faster than you are. Then you've got the hot air balloons where you go through a field, just surrounded by them, but you've only got to beat 37. You've also got the train where you just go through the map and try and fight it in a small little car compared to the Ford Raptor which you go against the little plane with. Every single one of these has something new and I think they have the most variation out of any of them in the entire series. I'll be honest with you guys, I was never a big fan of bucket lists. There was just something about them in Forza Horizon 2 that just didn't stick with me. Maybe it was because I was younger, I guess I'll never really know really. But going back to games like Forza Horizon 3 and 4, I've sort of come to appreciate just how good the bucket lists are. You go across the lush landscapes and the challenges that they offer are unlike any other racing game, but I guess I'll just never know why I never used to love them back when I first had the Xbox, but thankfully I can say now, they are brilliant. Bucket lists are these exciting things that can never be taken away from a Forza game. The lush landscapes that you go across are just undeniable and the challenges they offer are incredible. Whether you be drifting around trying to get as much skill as you possibly can inside a town or if you're just trying to get the top speed on a motorway, anything is possible in these bucket lists. 
loads of ones happened in Forza Horizon 2 and they set the bar for what was to come next. question now is what is Forza Horizon 2? The answer to that is anything. Forza Horizon 2, you can do anything you want. You have complete freedom and there's no boundary except the invisible walls lining the map. I don't think I'll ever remember the first day that I launched on the Xbox and played this game. I suppose it would have been quite a good day for my younger self. Forza Horizon 2 will always be in my heart and will always be the best Xbox game I've ever played. And who knows, maybe become my favourite game of all time.